Hello and welcome to this Dungeon Fog tutorial. We're going to be looking at the resize tool. Now, what happens if you are creating a room? Let's say, for example, we're going to do that here and I'm going to create a room and I need the room to extend beyond this section of the map. What do I do? I can extend my map as I so choose in any direction by simply clicking on the resize map option. And what that does is it opens up a grid representation of the current map itself. It tells us the map's size. I could then change the sizes of the map using these four different points. So if I wanted the map to increase by one grid above at the top section, as it's called in Dungeon Fog, I would simply left click in that area, click one, and then I can press enter and it adds one to the top. Now, notice that there are interesting things that we are seeing underneath these values as well. Shrink size or shrink limit minus two. Can't shrink, shrink limit minus two, shrink limit one. What that means is, is that we cannot reduce the map on the right hand side any further because there is a room touching it straight away. Now, if I select the room and I move my vertex points to reshape the room, when I go back to the resize option, I still can't shrink it because the wall is still extending into that other grid. I would have to take the wall all the way back, two squares away because the width of the wall is imposing into the grid next to it. And now when I go to resize, it will say limit minus one. So if you're trying to shrink your map down and it's not letting you, that's why. If the wall interposes into the grid space, Dungeon Fog sees it as an active grid space. If I wanted to extend to the right, I could say three to the right and I could come over to the left and say three to the left and let's say two to the bottom and let's go big and say 10 to the top. If I click on apply, our map will resize and now we have a large space within which to continue building. Something that's also very useful I have found is if you are creating a room and you want your room to be fairly large, let's take it all the way to the edge there and bring it down so it's a long haul of some kind perhaps. When you go to the resize tool and you press, let's say uh, two, you apply that. Remember, you can always left click on your room and then just extend those upwards so that you are making the most of your space. I would always advise that you leave at least two grid around the entire map that allows for character tokens to walk into the map effectively to see it from a distance, but it is entirely up to you. Another trick that I like to do when making rooms feel as if they go on for a very long time or if transitioning to another map is to take my vertex points and actually drag them off the map. Notice that Dungeon Fog has a grid that extends for infinity. So when I move this vertex point over, it will continue upwards. Now, when we go to our resize tool, we can see that we can't shrink it any further, but we can still reduce it to minimum size because the edging is quite loose over here. Even though we have gone off the map, it's because we're off the map that it's no longer worrying about this room. So if I reduce it to minimum size, it will keep that height, but it will have cut off all of the edges. A really useful and very powerful tool is the resize tool. And that is how you use the resize tool.